God, I'm so glad you didn't actually spend that money, Tony. Oh, I mean, I did spend it, but <sighs> now there's like an alternate timeline where Jill is like completely destitute and never going to be able to pay her bills. Uh, now, uh, did, did we read this shit? I think we totally did, uh, right? Didn't we? Didn't we fucking read this? Nope. I. Oh God. Yes. Yes, we did read this. Sure, sure, we read that. <laughs> It's gonna be great. Uh-huh. Oh my god, we should get some stuff. Well, she does want the crack Daruma. Wait, does she really? Yeah. Alright, we got the crack Daruma. Okay, but let's, let's, we've got, we've got to save up our money for the... <laughs> for, like, the, the... We've got five days to, to raise, like, fucking five and a half thousand dollars for our electricity bill. Ba basically, like, like, the electrical company is just, like, coming for blood. Uh-huh. Good evening, Gil. Oh, hey guys. How the hell did you get in? I have a copy of the key, remember? Wait, that's how you greet me after so many days? I never doubted you'd be fine. If anything, I'd have to cut your paycheck for leaving for so many days without notice. Mm -hmm. See, Jill? He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. Wait, why does he have a copy of the key and I don't? The need for you having a key never arose. True. Anyway, glad you're fine, Gil. Thanks, I guess. Ugh. What are you- <laughs> You know, someone pointed out a long time ago that you and I, we vocally voice dot dot dot. Yeah. We, 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 we voice the ellipses. Yes. And it amuses me. I like it. I like it too. It's just what we do. Yeah. What? Are you going to make me wash the bathrooms again? Not today. Listen, I don't know who the hell you really are or what's trying to come back to bite you in the ass. But remember, there are people that actually care about you. Don't just leave like you did. Especially after all hell broke loose. At least give us a sign that you're still alive. So you were worried? Isn't that normal? When it comes to you, I don't know. Shut up. She's right, though. You shouldn't make ladies worry so much. Check if the cats didn't move the internet antenna, would you? Fine, fine. Hey boss, why did you leave the hoodie at my place? Because it's yours? But I told you you could keep it. Sorry, I couldn't find it in myself to take it. Why? Partly because I didn't feel right taking it, but mostly because I thought you'd totally look cute with it. I... <laughs> I see. <laughs> that is now Jill's favorite hoodie. <laughs> oh, sorry, I just needed a moment there. Don't think I'm rejecting a gift of yours. It's just preserving cuteness is one of my principles. That is a weird thing to say, Dana. <laughs> I mean, oh, uh, yeah, right. Are you still worried about the whole bar closure thing? Of course I am. Not like I can't work because of it, but you know. All we can do is enjoy whatever time we have left here as best as we can. Yeah. So cheer up. Clients smell sadness and fear, and we don't want that. I'll go to my office. Okay. Antenna's fine. Did I miss anything? Not really, no. Are you sure? Anyways, let's start the day. Oh, I saw all my settings and shit disappear. I can't click any of that. I kind of wish when I clicked, my finger would do like a little like, like kind of finger like motion, tap. like a tapping motion. Mm -hmm. I just gestured right now as though all of you could see my gesture. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I was there to translate your gesture. I appreciate it. I don't, I'm sorry. I don't remember where we were in terms of our things. So I hope you like a city that never sleeps in case we're listening to that for like the fifth time in a row. Yep. Oh, remix base of the... T there are remixes? Maybe. Oh. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh, yeah, Gil? Hmm? Glad to see you're fine. I mean it. Thanks. Uh, excuse me. I'm looking for Dana Zane. Uh, may I have your name? Tell her it's Brian. Just a sec. Boss! Some Brian guy is looking for you! Tell him I'll be there in a bit! She'll... Um, you heard her. It's alright. I'll wait. It's weird for someone to come asking for her, though. 
It's not so weird when you're BTC's regional manager in these parts. Yeah, I guess that's... Uh... Um... <laughs> I guess I didn't give you the best first impression. Haha, <laughs> 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 don't worry. I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not a fan of people treating me too nicely because of my position anyways. Handle me like I'm just another client. Uh, Alright, I can do that. What can I get you, Mr. Brian? Let's go with the basics. A sugar rush, please. Coming right up. Is Brian supposed to drink on the job like this? I mean, this might be one of the non-alcoholic drinks. Oh. Optional Let's not give him Karmatrine. Sorry, hold on just a second. Uh, oh. That's it. That's uh -oh. it. That's it. Oh, no, oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. Uh, oh man! Uh, yeah. There we go. That's that's a sugar rush. Now, yeah. what was that? What was the term that you came up with, or or did I come up with? Huh? One of us came up with a term because you went to the bathroom just before we started recording. Uh, LP? Uh, no, oh, no, it was it was a pre P L P. A pre a pre L P P. A pre L P P is a that's a different take on it, but just as cherished. <laughs> Here. Yeah, this one's nice. Back in training, they made a big deal out of sugar rushes. Why? They're like the fried eggs of mixing drinks. They're the most basic thing, but people can still mess them up. Sugar rushes are simple enough that you only need to follow instructions. If you can't even do that, your future as a bartender is not bright. Huh, they never told me that. You're Jill, right? Yup, that's me. Dana has talked quite a bit about you. Really? And I guess you must have a few questions for me, am I right? Uh... Mostly concerning the closure warning Valhalla got. Can you disclose any information? I shouldn't, but you have the right to know. Thanks. Don't mention it. Now, where to start? You saw the news on the information- oh, God, this song is so fucking good, Jesus! Mm -hmm. You saw the news on the information leaked during the Apollo Trust Bank incident, right? Uh, about the White Knights having lots of members from criminal organizations in their ranks? Turns out the White Knights weren't the only ones with shady people. Some of those same folks have been trying to elude legal problems using BTC certified bars. The BTC bars have their own protocols, meaning the White Knights can't dig too deeply. At least not without going through a ton of paperwork first, giving the criminals time to cover their tracks. Although it takes a bit of time to set up, it has apparently proven an effective method for money laundering. Where does Valhalla come in? Young bars are the ones under the radar right now, and the modest to low income ones are the primary suspects. It's not just Valhalla, any small bar with small income is being investigated heavily right now. So the closure notice is due to low sales? Among the reasons a bar can get axed, low sales is the rarest one. If low sales were a problem, lots of bars would close every year. Hmm. You'll find out soon enough, huh? Sorry? Oh, nothing. Don't mind me. Seems your guess was spot on, Gil. Huh? If it helps, I'm doing my best to appeal in your place. Really? Why? Most of Glitch City's bars are a pain in the ass. They constantly give reports of chemical damage or shady drinks. Chemical damage? This is one of the few places from which I almost never receive complaints. Are you sure about that, Brian? <laughs> oh no. The closest thing to a recent complaint was that whole farmer fabrics affair from a little while ago. So much saliva. <laughs> I, I wouldn't get my hopes up though. Especially since the BTC will try to save face by axing as many suspects as possible. Knowing you're making an effort is enough. Thanks. Can I get you anything else? Now that I remember, the recipe book has a drink created here, right? Oh yeah, the suplex. Get me one of those, please. Sure. Oh. Let's give Brian a suplex. God. I know Tony would love to do that. I... I want to be suplexed at some point in no, my no, life. No, 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 you want to suplex Brian. Mm, well, okay, so you need to be careful with statements like that because we now have someone who has appeared on the channel 
who is named Brian. That's, that's who I was talking about. I would, I don't, I'm not going to suplex Brian. Tony, you would love to suplex Brian. I would Brian. feel so bad. Oh, no, you would love to I suplex would feel Brian. so bad. He'd get really hurt. And I would get hurt too. Because I'm probably bad at oh, suplexing. Tony, but you want to suplex him so no, bad. God, no, we're not doing this thing you again. Want to. Oh, this song will dance. Yeah, here. The registry form said this was an accident while making a pile driver. You can ask the creator of the drink, just over there. Ah, so you're Robert? Yes, that's my name. I'm Robert, the one and only. Uh, Jill called you Gil, though. Uh, it's Argentinian slang. <laughs> Robert here is from Argentina, so we can call him Gil. <laughs> huh. I see. I, I want Brian to reveal, like, I'm Argentinian. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> uh. Mm. Uh, sorry, Brian. I was storing some stuff at the office. Please come in. I'll be right there. Any other questions, Jill? Uh, not really, no. Although... Yeah? If you were to evaluate my performance right now, how would you rate me? Clean and timely delivery of the correct orders. A top-notch bartender. Thanks. I imagine we're going to see that on a money scorecard later. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm surprised you haven't met him before. I received my training in another city. The regional supervisor there was some girl with a red mohawk. Ah, I see. I wonder what boss will talk to Brian about. <laughs> Who's Stella? <laughs> Stella. Um, Jill, was it? No, 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 it's this person. Oh, Stella. Oh, um, Miss Stella, what a pleasure. I Stella's design is wild. It is indeed. There's just, there's just... so much going on yeah. with Stella's design. Can we Actually, can we take a moment to break uh -huh. down yeah. Stella's mm -hmm. design? All well, right. the cat ears, first of all. Absolutely, and they're real ass cat ears, yes. right? And but they were they were they were to uh, save like a medical condition. Yeah, for some 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 sort of medical condition that she had upon birth. Yes. Okay. So so that's good. We also have cyborg eye patch. Uh huh. Badass. Yes. Right. We have red eyes. Mm hmm. Red hair. Red ears. Red dress. Red red everything. A giant red like ribbon shit attached to her back. Oh, for some reason, I thought that was, like, also her hair. I did, too, for a while, but uh, just looking at it more, like, the texture is different. Yeah. And you can see the end of the ribbon curl on the yeah. right. You know, it, it honestly kind of looks like she, like... And this this is gonna, this is a little horrible. It almost looked like she uh, forcibly removed the, the, the scalp what? of an anime girl and is wearing it as a trophy. Oh, my God. Tony, why? That is one... I, that is not what that looks like at all. That's totally what it looks it like. It looks like a giant ribbon. But it looks like a magical anime girl hair, though, right? No. Yeah, it totally does. It's it like the impossible bounce, like on pigtails. I mean, okay, well, when you're saying scalp, I'm thinking of the skin, not the hair. Well, the skin's like kind of behind, on, like, or Ugh. maybe it's underneath her hair. Gross. I agree, it's gross. And then we're, we over, have over here like a big old, big old religion brooch. Uh huh. I I don't know if that's necessarily a religion brooch. It looks more aesthetic to me. Like uh, like, like the aesthetics of Jesus or no, God. Uh, no, honestly, goddess that things. looks exactly like this fucking amulet I wore when I dressed up as a vampire for Halloween when I was like five. Ah uh, yes, vampires famously noted for their secularism. <laughs> All those. I'm just saying that's not a cross. It's an <laughs> it's like a fucking square or not a square. It's like a plus sign, right? With a red, <laughs> it just looks like I she, don't know. She's nothing if not mathematical. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it's not shaped like a cross, so I don't think that there's any reason for us to assume it's religious. That's fair. I being ex Catholic, anything that's vaguely two lines that intersect in any way, I'm like Jesus. Mm -hmm. Is that Jesus? Is that Jesus? Maybe a Jesus. Mm. All right. Anyways, if you'll please. I, I already read that line. I forgot that you read that line. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Yeah. Um. Just call me Stella and get me a big beer, please. Uh, it was definitely a little more like a uh, swamp <laughs> witch than that. All right. I'll try. Huh. Sure. On it. Stella asked for a beer. We need to ask about Say. Hello. I know. Jill, remember literally anything about your clients. Uh, 
feel so bad Next. at this. Next. Mm. Uh, are you sure you're fine? Um, you know, say, right? Of course. What's up with her? She was at the Apollo Trust Bank during that whole affair, and... Oh. Right. That. So she... She did show up on the list of the massive body count in the aftermath, so... I was hoping that maybe you've seen her. As much as I'd love to say that I had. Mm. Yeah, I figured as much. Oh. Man, the air is suddenly a lot heavier. That's a lot of ellipses. It's so many ellipses. I mean, I could tell her everything will be alright, but that would sound a bit... condescending. Uh, what does one do in this kind of situation? She'll say something for the love of God. Maybe a joke? No, that'd be tasteless. Okay, just try and say anything. At the very least, you'll break the tension. Maybe distracting her will be enough? I don't think clearly when under this kind of pressure, do I? Uh, there was a private eye here the other day. I? Sorry, I'm a bit on edge. A private detective, I take it? Uh, yeah. Maybe you'll want his services? What's his name? I believe it was Art... Van... No. Vondelay. Oh, that Art guy. Yeah, I actually hired him yesterday to look for Say. So you still have hope? I'm somewhere between bargaining and depression right now. And I'm afraid to let go of bargaining. I see. Is he any good? He doesn't look like it, but he's quite skilled at gathering intel. Is he? I believe he'll give me answers about Say. Whatever they might be. Oh. Sometimes I wish I had a magic wand so I could solve all my problems with a swing, you know? Sorry if I'm making you uncomfortable. Oh, sorry. No, it's not about feeling uncomfortable. It's just... weird. I usually try to say something to my clients when I see them down. And right now I can't find any words that don't sound hypocritical, useless, or tasteless. I'm glad to know you have that much common sense at least. All I can do is get you drinks. Can I get you anything else? Something, something sweet. That'll help me calm down a bit. Gladly. Alright, so something... Uh, Alright, something to... Sweet by flavor. Something, something bottle drink. No! No! Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, my bad. So, so here's the deal. I think I need to go more for like a Professor Oak. You know? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. hold on. Let me yeah. let me try my Professor Oak. Okay, okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, all right. I'm going to take that. What? With, I'm going to take that with me into the. What? No, no, it's good. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, so we, can, we can give her any of the sweet drinks, honestly. Yeah, probably any of them are fine, really. Yeah, let's do a, yeah. a sparkle star. When, when was the last time we did a sparkle star? I feel like maybe only once. Yeah, we'll give her three. Yeah, we'll give her five. No! It's been a rough day. Yeah, but that doesn't mean she needs to be drunk. Well, I mean, I mean, I agree. As someone who doesn't drink, I, I agree. <sighs> but, all right, we made a spark star. Yeah, I don't think we ever made a spark star. Mm -hmm. Comment below if we've totally made a spark star. Sparkle. Yeah, and also Sorry. if you want to see the next episode of Valhalla. So thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button. We also have a Patreon. You can check it out in the end card or in the video description. We have cool shit like a Discord where you can talk to us and like some other neat rewards like watching past live streams. We have a bunch of other bullshit that's not bullshit. Yeah, it's I'm, it's exceptional. Don't. Now don't. <laughs> don't. Don't do that. <laughs> See you later.